morning everyone happy friday oh my gosh it's finally friday has it been a really long week for you oh my gosh i didn't think this day would ever come it has been it's been an awesome week for me but it was so long i don't know i well i was busy every single night of the week and you would think that'd make it go faster but it didn't it seemed to just drag on and on and now it's finally friday and you know darn well just like that it's going to be gone and then the next thing you know it's sunday night and we got to go back to work i wish the weekends would drag on just like the week does but they go by so stinking fast how was your week like i said mine was awesome was it awesome 100% of the time? Well, no, there was ups and downs. There was trials and tribulations. There was some stress at work, but it wasn't bad. We had beautiful weather here. I'll take 50 degrees any day, especially in late February, early March. I can't believe in another week it's going to be St. Patty's Day. Our local town here is having our annual St. Patty's Day parade and I'm part of the American Legion Auxiliary, so we're going to throw a float in there. And I don't know if we're walking, if we're riding. All I know is I toss candy out to the kids. That's all I know. Hello, Jamie. How are you? I can't believe that I'm supposed to be grateful for the moment. How do you become grateful in just a, in this little itty-bitty moment? I have such a hard time being in the moment. I have such a hard time not like fluttering in the future or reminiscing about the past. I am always anywhere but in the moment. And I need to learn how to ground myself. I do meditation. And you know what my meditation is like? Denise, start thinking again. Denise, come back to the grounding. Denise, where is your head? Denise. It is horrible. I have to do guided meditation because then the voice triggers me to listen. And it's absolutely hilarious. The one person I listen to right in the middle of the meditation, if your mind is wandering, just bring it back to your, and it's every single time they say that, I'm like, how do they know? I'm, I'm, I'm in Storyland. I'm in La La Land. I have a very vivid imagination. A very active imagination and trying to stay present is so extremely difficult for me Jamie says she's feeling weighted down trying to work on it I go through those moments mine always happens after work because I have to put on a smiley face at work I am tired of being a miserable wrench at work I'm tired of being miserable all the time so i have to change and work on my mindset i just ee, okay we're gonna turn up the happiness today does it work all the time no no there's days where it's like why am i here just why am i here why why am i going through this why do i have to face this drama and this bs for lack of a better word but having our internal dialogue be positive I find makes it so much easier for me personally to deal with all the hoopla now I have a co-worker that calls me and she doesn't think she's negative she's just pointing out the facts but it really vibrates negative for me and I have such a hard time and a struggle every single day talking with her and I try to be cheerful and upbeat and flip that negative switch to a more positive vibe and eventually she doesn't call as often or talk as long or she wants to commiserate in the misery of herself or of others and it's natural when you're miserable you and everybody else to feel what you're feeling I was talking with my cousin last night and it's like when I'm miserable, I want somebody to feel what I'm feeling so they understand why I'm so miserable. And finally, I got to the point where I can't stand myself. So 
mm -mm. I have to listen to positive affirmations. I have to listen to upbeat music. Now, there's times where I really enjoy listening to classic country and old country. But boy, I tell you, it brings up memories of family and the tear work start. So I have to listen to, you know, something more upbeat, 80s music. I'm an 80s girl, so I love the 80s music. I can't listen to the news. That's very depressing for me. I try to find upbeat things. There's times where I'll drive all the way to work and it's totally silent. Then I start listening to the car, make weird noises, then I got to turn the radio on anyways. But I try to enjoy the surroundings. I try to enjoy the beautiful sunrise or if I'm coming home, sometimes the sunset. But I'm trying to be in the moment and it's so freaking hard for me. Because again, I'm in La La Land. My brain likes to what ifs and play out scenarios or just daydream. There's nothing wrong with it. That's what gets me through life. It's like reading a book. So I have like a book going on in my head. I should really listen to books on tape or not tape anymore. I guess I'm aging myself, aren't I? But it would then give me something to listen to and concentrate on besides being in La La Land. But then, of course, I'd get sucked in the book and I'd get to work and then I'd be wandering about that all day instead of concentrating on work. So I just find it hard to concentrate. That's what it comes down to. Part of it is a coping mechanism because I wasn't happy with my in the moment life or what was going on around me so I cope by daydream some of that could be attention deficit that could very well be too I don't know what it is but I've learned by my age I'm okay with it but trying to be in the present moment and be thankful and grateful I can be thankful and grateful just hard to bring myself back to the present moment but my present moment right now is I got my coffee made. I already had, I had a protein shake for breakfast. Was it what I wanted? No. I really wanted ice cream with hot fudge sauce. But I don't have ice cream or hot fudge sauce. And that's not healthy for me anyways. I've got my coffee made. I got my lunch packed. I just have to pull everything out of the fridge, grab my shoes, and head to work. I'm wearing my pretty flowers on my shirt today, trying to bring some cheer in. I don't think I match my jacket and my shirt, but I don't care because it's Friday. Who am I impressing? As long as I'm comfortable and I have to wear a jacket because, again, I got a layer. Because it, if it's sunny today, it's going to be blistering hot in the office. If it's windy out, my feet are going to freeze. I may be hot, but my feet will freeze. At knee level, knees and down, I'm cold. I have a space heater, but that you know, hot air rises, so I'm still hot. There's no happy medium in the office for temperature. I myself am not a happy medium temperature. I go up and down and sideways and it's a disaster. So I have to do this layering thing. I'm not happy about it because I don't like it. I like being able just to throw clothes on, go to work, and not have to worry about a temperature shift all day long. But it's an all day long temperature shift. It is now six o'clock, ladies. I got to hop off. I got to go see if I need to add a scarf or another layer or what I've got to do. Got to grab my coffee and all my snacks and my meals because I'm trying to eat healthy. Today my kick is blackberries and an apple. I'll go for that. I really want, I really want chocolate, but I'm trying to stay away. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. I hope that you have a fabulous weekend. We're supposed to have some snow rain i don't really know i don't think they know i guess when i wake up tomorrow morning and look out the window i'll know what kind of weather we're going to have i don't have any plans for the weekend which is nice i'm very excited about that and i think it's going to be a relaxing weekend i really need to look for more work clothes i know i have them packed away somewhere i just haven't had to work for four years in 
a building with other people that I could wear my pajamas all day if I wanted to. Now I can't. So that's, I think, going to be my thing for the weekend is more laundry, trying to find my work. I don't know what I did with everything. I packed it all away, and now i got to find it. Wish me luck, ladies, because it's going to be an undertaking. Have a fantastic Friday and weekend. Talk to you Monday. Bye for now.